For those of you who don't recognize me, I'm Doug Dubach, the Omaha Test Rider. We're here at Lake Elsinore Motocross Park for the 2004 YZ250F intro. This, uh, let's see, what can I say about this? Fourth year running, we've got a bike running over there, so you probably can't hear me. But this is our fourth year of the YZ250F. Every year we just keep making more improvements. We've the only manufacturer to have five titanium valves. All new for 04 is the 38 millimeter front forks, titanium foot pegs, gripper seat, lost over two pounds over the 03 model, titanium exhaust. And in the engine, we did a lot of work with cylinder and cases and to relieve a little bit of the pumping loss. So you, where you'll feel that is in the mid power. It's really got a lot more meat through the mid. And I'm not talking no IHOP little special steak. We're talking that 72 ouncer you find on I-40 at the truck stop. So, for all you guys that got 03s, if I could just shut that guy up. For all you guys out there that have an 03 YZ250F, you better get out your Cycle News 1 ad and get that thing sold, because this is the best on the block now. Michelle, uh, a trans world test rider, uh, just out here at Elsinore Motocross Track, uh, testing out the new YZF uh, 250 4-stroke. Uh, felt really good out here uh, riding this bike. Is just, uh, we think uh, YZ's got a really good head start on the rest of the competition, especially with all these new bikes out, um, like the KX 250 and the, and the RM and RMZ. And I thought the power delivery of the bike was really good. Um, off the bottom man, it just seemed to have like a. As the more we rode it, the more bottle response as far as uh, low end was really good, especially on the long uh, straightaways, just keep pulling as far as the, the top panels were good. It just had a real linear power band. Um, coming into corners came out really good. Exiting corners just cornered really well, just didn't seem to dive really harsh. Um, just all around, just did a really good job all around. Uh, accelerating out of the corners, uh, getting up to speed was no problem, jumping the jumps was really good. I think it's all around a good inside and outside line because you can chop, come into the corners really good, you can uh, take an outside line and, and, and square it off nicely and it would just cut the corner just really well. The Yamaha has a head start on them and I think they have everything pretty much dialed in as far as uh, cornering, handling, power, everything all around, just I think it'll, it'll still, I think it'll still be king.